the Honourable Member for Ottawa South. No, but the situation at Chalk River. There have been three unplanned and extended shutdowns in 17 months. There have been at least four radioactive leaks. The NRU license was renewed with AECL in July of 2006 without ensuring all safety requirements were met. A new 40-year isotope supply agreement was signed with MDS Nordion with no backup plan, now the subject of a $1.6 billion lawsuit. With 5,000 daily tests and treatments for Canadians now at risk, when is this going to end? The Honourable Minister of Natural Resources. Mr. Speaker, this government has taken great action with respect to the isotope file. Indeed, Mr. Speaker, in December of last year, we set out a five-point plan, which we indicated we understood the difficulty in the supply chain regarding medical isotopes, and that we take action towards it. Indeed, we have, Mr. Speaker. In fact, the Minister of Health is working with the provinces and the territories in dealing with the shortage of supply, and my officials, along with myself, are reaching out to the other isotope-producing countries in order to increase the supply in the world. The Honourable Member for Ottawa South. Mr. Speaker, this is a made-in-Canada crisis, a Conservative made-in-Canada crisis, now described by nuclear medicine experts as a catastrophe. A catastrophe. There is no Plan B, there's no one left to blame, and there's no one left to fire. The last Natural Resources Minister argued that a continued shortage of isotopes for just one week, he said, was the difference between, quote, life or death for some patients. As we face now an indefinite shutdown, again, with 5,000 daily tests and treatment, treatments for Canadians at risk, how can the Minister possibly have allowed this situation to occur? The Honourable Minister of Natural Resources, order. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I thank the Honourable Member from Ottawa South for his interest in the file, of course, Mr. Speaker. What would have been very helpful to the file that I'm faced with today and this government's faced with today, if he had actually brought his concerns to the member from Markham when he was the Minister of Natural Resources and could have dealt with this issue at that point in time. Thirteen years, Mr. Speaker, five Liberal cabinet ministers dealing with this issue in front of them, and they did nothing. The Honourable 